of these islands lies a depressing situation of its local populace who are still struggling to attain a decent living. Poverty in this place is discouragingly high with estimated earnings of 1,500 pesos per month by an individual. The residents' major source of livelihood is generated from fishing and gathering marine products, while few engage in agriculture like coconut farming and vegetable cultivation. Since its creation in March 2008 through a private seat, the municipal officials, led by then-appointed and now-elected Mayor Mukhtar Jnaid, tried to introduce development in the small town. However, despite some efforts, Jnaid indeed admits that his town still struggles for improvement. With limited internal revenue allotment from the national government, projects and programs are not enough to introduce instant changes for the local residents in the four islands. Yung vision natin kung paano natin ma-develop yung area. Pero problema natin, alam naman siguro ng karamihan, yung bagong munisipyo natin, eh, bagong kriit lang yan. So, kulang-kulang ang pundo. Eh ngayon, nananawagan tayo sa gobyerno, kung pwede, eh, kailangan natin ng tulong nila para ma-implement natin yung vision mission natin na kung paano natin ma-develop ang area natin. Among the biggest problems that the local residents are facing is the absence of potable water. Ever since, the local residents have been suffering from getting potable water from a neighboring town in mainland Basiland. It was a distressing moment watching even children at the tender age taking the burden of this predicament. This six-year-old boy, despite his tender age, knows his obligation. Pushing his cart loaded with empty gallons of water, he is on his way to fetch water several meters away from his house. 
residents even go farther to Zamboanga city, some 40 nautical miles of distance from their home, just to buy potable water for drinking and cooking, which cost them a lot of money, and should wait at least two or three days for the water to arrive. To address this problem, local residents and local government officials helped one another in digging deep well for water. However, the usage of deep well water is basically limited for washing clothes, bath taking, and other purposes. But not for drinking. Due to difficulties on its water supply and aspiration, this old woman pleaded the government for help. To solve the water problem, the local government unit needs millions of pesos for the construction of its own municipal water system. Town engineers have already identified some areas in the four islands that can be used for water resources. Lack of potable water is said to be one of the reasons why some of the children in this place are suffering from skin diseases. Children devote much of their time playing and swimming under the scorching heat of the sun. There are no proper hygiene being observed by residents. And no fresh water for them to take a bath or for rinsing purposes. Added to the problem, this municipality has zero health facilities. There are no hospital and health centers. Not even a single doctor to attend to sick residents or advise them on the importance of practicing proper hygiene. Comfort rooms are only built at coastal areas, a typical old practice which contributes to the unsanitary problem in the island. If one gets sick, the patient has to be brought to Isabella City or sometimes to Zamboanga City for medical treatment. At totoo yan, ang totoo niya noon, noon hindi pa ako nakaupo, uh, hindi pa tayo na-separate sa mother municipal ng Sumisi. Eh, wala talagang uh, center o oh, hospital. Eh, kaya ngayon, kinakailangan, malaking tulong kasi ang hospital pag meron. Kasi yung isla ng Tabuan Lasa, more on island municipality. Yung kinakailangan natin kasi, yung hospital. Kung pwede kasi, medyo malayo-layo sa Maluso o Isabela ang Tabuan Lasa municipality. So, kailangan natin talaga ng hospital at saka sinter.